We open tonight with a traditional chant, a turo by one of our warriors, and we go straight into a beautiful drum dance inspired by the mutiny on the bounty from our beautiful island of Aichutaki. going to be uh, all of a sudden we're back into business it's going to be a gradual increase so there will be some businesses that will still require a lifeline uh, to enable them to operate until they get up to to uh, the levels that make it sustainable uh, so we're looking very carefully at this and if there is a need to extend those lifelines out beyond June uh, certainly that's something that we will do The cafe kept going, but menu catered more for locals. Um, just and keeping the staff morale up and staff employed for their for their subsidies. Yeah, so we kind of enjoyed it in a way for a while. <laughs> for a while. And you were you were able to keep the doors open. There was always some form of the business yeah. taking over. We could keep the doors open to a small small obviously small amount like everybody, but we couldn't have done that without the subsidy. I also would like to thank government uh, for, for the, the assistance that they gave all businesses on the island and I'm sure uh, the islands in the, you know, outside of Rarotong as well. Uh, so that, that worked out well, otherwise we would have to shut right down and waited for, for the bubble to reopen. I've only got five staff left out of 16 and um, uh, they've gone to New Zealand for, uh, for work. Now we can't respond quickly enough. Our, usually our turnaround and response times for reservation bookings and inquiries is within four hours. We've never had the demand that we've had right now. It's taking, it is taking us longer to respond, over 24 hours, but there's just so much there for our team. We've, we've had to bring in sales and marketing resources, My, I, I'm in there with the team trying to help clear, clear the inquiries, so there's a lot going on. 